Students are gearing up to head back to campus at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. With COVID precautions in place, they'll reopen next week. But for students with physical disabilities, the future of their fall semester is unclear. CBS 2's Tara Molina sits down with students and their families tonight, working to get a straight answer from the school. Meet Ethan Olson. A 19 year old from Geneva <laughs> with a contagious laugh and a love for U of I. Actually, that may be putting it lightly, but we're not just talking about Ethan as a basketball and football super fan. He loves this school for its opportunity, his freedom. I'm CP, so I'm too evil policy. The University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, where Ethan will be a sophomore, has one of the best programs in the country for students with physical disabilities. And I got a hope in but I would get in, and I did. <laughs> students like Ethan, who at one point didn't know this would ever be in the cards. When I was young, uh, I didn't think this was possible. That's why he and his family aren't taking no for an answer. A month or two before classes actually start, we get shut down. They got this letter from the university in July, explaining Ethan's accessible, specially equipped floor would be closed. The Beckwith program that drew them and others to the school canceled for the fall semester because of staffing issues related to COVID-19. Families like Ethan's got together to fight that. With thousands supporting a petition online, the school agreed to open their dorms, but still won't open the Beckwith program. They're going back to the same reason and the only reason, which is the lack of staff. <laughs> Despite Ethan, his peers, and their families taking it upon themselves to secure the personal assistant staff, filling shifts for each student's needs. Within a week, they had 90 some percent coverage of all of the PA shifts. When I asked the university why, they didn't acknowledge all of my questions, instead echoing some of what they've said to students and parents, blaming staffing issues due to a, quote, shortage of human services workers worsened by COVID-19. You have some hope that someone's going to say yes, and we're going to do this, and look at what we've done, look what these kids have done, and we still get a no. And I think that it's devastating. Enter state rep Ann Stava Murray. The biggest issue here is equal access to education. One of a few state legislators taking a closer look at the closure of the program. We're hearing that the actual reason um, that the university has made this decision to remain closed, it has to do with liability. Explaining because the program closed, the university didn't renew its funding and the federal dollars they usually rely on are no longer available. And we're giving up federal match dollars. She's not backing down anytime soon. And neither are the Olsons, who in the meantime are prepared to pay out of pocket to make up for the services no longer covered by those federal dollars. Because they believe Ethan and his peers should have the same opportunity thousands of other U of I students will next week. It's gonna be like with the other people. The option to go back to school. I know I'm going. <laughs> Families are worried about the future of this program with staffing in the spring semester already brought up as a challenge. You can read U of I's entire statement responding to this. It's in this story on our website right now. Reporting in the loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.